My name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio expert, and today we talk about current exchange functions in Google Sheets. Sometimes we have different ads account in different currency, and we need to work with it somehow. So let's observe which, op which options do we have. We have Google Finance function. It's kind of complex function, and we will use only part of its pow power. So, the first option, we just write Google Finance, uh, open bracket and uh, type currency and just type from which currency to which we want to get the exchange rate. Uh, the result of this formula is here. So, when we convert USD to Euro, we get 0 0.9 blah blah blah. But we can use, we can change this uh, currency codes and uh, move it to cells. And in this case, formula will look like here, as you, you can see here. Uh, we just change currencies code to um, links to cells. And uh, for example, I use the same formula here. Uh, but different currencies and we have different rates for them. So when we have rate and when we have, for example, our um, ad spend in dollars, we want to convert it to euro, we just multiply these dollars to our currency rate is C10 uh, to this rate and we get amount in euros. But uh, in this case, we have exchange rate for today. So it will be different. It will change every day and will be changed every 20, 20 minutes, actually. So, uh, but usually when I, w I work with historical data, I work with uh, historical data. For example, for me, it's normal case when I have a date and I have cost and US dollars, for example. So what can we do for this case? Because we should have um, correct exchange rate for these dates. For this, we can make our formula more complicated. We add some attrib attributes. We add attribute price, date start, and date end. Um, if you go to Google Sheets Support Center, uh, you can see different attributes here. So our attribute price um, it's by default and uh, this is attribute actually that I use. I don't use others because I don't work with financial organization and maybe it doesn't make sense for me to use others. But you can change, you can read what does it mean. Price mean, mean means real time price quote delayed by up to 20 minutes. And you can change it to the current day slow price, the current day high price, and so on. You have like a lot of different options. Uh, again, I'm not a super specialist here, so I just use price, and it's for my tasks, it's more than enough. So I use price, date start, date end, date start, date uh, date end. Uh, we can use several options. We can use exact date, like in my row 17. I just type exact date, or we can use some today, yesterday, something, this stuff. Or we can add links to some cells. For example, if I have, like, I can do minimum date from my date range. Not from this, from my uh, ad state range, for example, I can press uh, and uh, do link from this formula to this state. And I think this will be correct. Yeah, let's add third example here. Let's add third example here. So here in this example, I changed currencies to link to my current codes. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, it will be my minimum date, max, maximum date will be max from my 
my data set. So this is my two minimum and maximum date and I just minimum date I changed to G16 and today maximum date I changed to 16 and I can apply this formula. I use it here. Yeah. And uh, I have only one. 16, 16, sorry, no, disconnect. So I have like four days here, so I have, oh, maybe plus, yeah, now I have for all my dates that I need. Uh, but we have our format in date time so we have date and time that and uh, in my data set i make it smaller uh, in my data set i have a date so we need to convert this date to um, date format because if i do like this like 14 it doesn't doesn't match so i use date formula here uh, you can find it here. Um, <clears throat> basically, I say that let's convert this formula to date. And uh, I add in. in this case, it will work. So we have, uh, by this Google Finance formula, we got our exchange rate. And uh, from we have our data set with dates and cost in US dollars and now we just use the look up formula and where we I can write it again for you we search K we search date that we're interested in we search this date from this table we use column three because our exchange rate in column three and here for this I got uh, to avoid some errors I add if error, and I think if error, I would like to use one. Uh, that is it. And in our cost euro, I just multiply my cost in US dollars to my exchange rate. Um, yeah, that is it, what I wanted to tell you today. Hope you like it, Ho hope you will use it. Let's change here to minimum date and the maximum date. Um, so, let me know how do you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and see you soon.